Hey guys, it's Shaggy here, hey, 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 G Unit. Welcome to another tip guide for Plaza. Today we'll be looking at Plaza Ground War 9v9 on Domination, Kill Confirm, and Team Deathmatch. And I'll be showing you the routes that I take in order to successfully start off a game. And that is pretty much this mini series that I'm doing. So, yeah, let's start off with Plaza here. Start on the seaside. By the way, it would be much appreciated if you guys rated this video as well. I love all the support you guys gave me on my previous tip video on how to rush and raid. So, let's get started on the seaside. So, imagine you're starting at the spot. You've got eight other guys around you, and we're going for C. So, we're going for C. You're in the same class setup here. Go to the most edge possible, which is at the door. And we're going to basically, once we cap C, you can stand right here. This is basically the spot you can stand at. What I do, I always just go, once I've captured C, I've captured, imagine I've captured C, I'm running. I'm running through here, and basically what I tend to do is shoot down the window like this, and I just go right to it, and at this point, you gotta think, you gotta be ready to get into a gunfight, because there's gonna be a guy on the other side. Like, literally, there's gonna be someone there. And the chances of that happening is very low, but you gotta be prepared. So, now that you're prepared, and you're walking through this... You gotta take cover like this, or you can just go right in and just start spraying like this. And it's up to you. It's, it's the choice that you make and how you want to take uh, take care of the situation. But once you've won the gunfight against the dudes that come through here, you gotta get ready for the next gunfight, which is towards B. And you will see a lot of guys going through up here towards B flag from this section here. So you gotta be make sure that first you look to your left, because there, there might be some dudes right there. So you come here, shoot them, shoot these guys down here. Careful with those dudes and snipers up there. I'll be very careful. But what I tend to do is that I quickly come here, kill these guys, and then just jump, go prone, and cap B flag like this against the door. This way I got no problems of dying. Anyone behind me, I just make sure I kill dudes here. And once I get the 200 cap kills, I'm coming now. Come through here, and we take this path around towards the A flag. Which is gonna be their spawn. You gotta be careful here because there's gonna be dudes going up this spot as they're running from their spawn towards from A. And you gotta be careful from this door because some dudes, it's very rare they come up through this door, but still you gotta be careful of your back. But what I tend to do is come through here, check dudes coming through here, kill them for from their spawn, they're coming from this door there and that door. And once they're down, what I tend to do is take, dude uh, take dudes from the back behind as they're going towards B. Once they're dead, break this glass, come through here. Cap A, get get some cap kills. The chances of me dying here is very high, but I still take the risk in order to kill them. Now, what you can do from now on is up to you. What I sometimes do, go up here and check for the campers that are sniping here. You can do that if you want, and you can jump down here once again and go around from the back and loop. Get those dudes if there's anyone there, but at the same time, take care of B flag, which is very important. And there should be dudes in this building yet again. So this is me talking this perspective of the seaside. And this is pretty much the only route that I take from C. I don't really, you know, if, I, if we go back to C from the start of the spawn, once I cap C, imagine I cap C, I would never take the left side because it just takes a longer to go around. What's the point of doing that? I would never go through this as well because, you know, you can do it, but, you know, it's the risk of you dying from grenades, some Texas, and, you know, you, you have flag jacket, you can get stunned and whatnot, and it's really annoying for me. So that's why I go through the middle. Just imagine I'm coming through this, through this door here and I'm walking like this. And I would never, I would never go around here. I would just straight go in, just go in and just go for the rush, rush them, rush these guys, and you're done. So that's from C side. Let's go and talk a bit about A side now. So, okay, so now we're starting at A, and you got to really think about it because this map is very symmetrical on both sides from A to C. So, what I'm gonna say is pretty much the same as what I do on C side. So we start in with running. Okay, we're running. Same shit. Go towards the door. Oh wait, you can go in further and you can stay inside the door now and you cap an A. So once you cap it, you run in. So you cap A and you're running. You're running, you're running, you're running. And this time I shoot the glass here and I still go in. You know, you don't have to shoot, you can break it or do whatever you want. But then I just tend to kill these dudes here sometimes to come through here. Kill confirmed, there's going to be a lot of dudes coming in here. So imagine I take my steps in like this. I shift to the left and start spraying. And what you can do is just like strafe left and right as you're shooting. Or you can just take one direction and shoot like that. It's up to you, it's depending, on the, depending on the play style. Some people like to go behind the wall like this and do that. But what I tend to do is I just sidestep like this and shoot players as I'm turning around. So I'm curving the bullets as, I, as I'm walking to the side. This way I've got the side checked. Yet again, see dudes coming through here towards B. Take, make sure you take care of this section first. 
because that's always closest to you, just like football. Goalkeeper's got to check the near post as, you know, got to make sure they've got that secured. So near post is pretty much here and then the further side with the dudes come up here to cap B. So what happens usually is that as you're coming up here, you spray these dudes. There's going to be a camper sniper up there. Got to be careful. So you take dude out here and you come from the back and then you're going to relax and you're going to say, okay, you take out the dudes cap and B and yet again, cap B like this against the door and you're going to see people coming up towards B. So sometimes I just like pop my head out, get 200 cap kills, 200 cap kills, 200 cap kill. Once I'm done, I go through here and there's going to be dudes coming through here. So you take these dudes out and yet again, it's basically the same thing. It's very symmetrical and this is pretty much what I do. So I check this side and I check this side. But once I check this side, there's dudes going up to B yet again like derps. So I take them out as well and this way, there's going to be dudes coming through that door and that door from this spawn, from the A flag, sorry, from the C flag. And you can take them out at the same time. But what I do from here, take dudes out from here and then obviously go through this window, which is one of the things which, you know, it catches the opponents by surprise that they wouldn't see you coming through here. And then what I tend to do is check dudes coming through this, going through this door towards B. There's dudes coming through here that spawns in that section there. And all you can do, obviously, jump up here and take dudes out up here. And at the same time, then what I do is go for C and then get cat killed. And that's basically it in, on this map. That's, that's what I do at the start of the game in order to successfully get my score streaks and be able, you know, as always, as I've said, me showing you this is from my experience and how I get my score streaks and it's not 100% success rate but you will do much better like this and it's much more efficient of getting the ways of getting kills. I know it's a risk of dying, there's a high chance of you dying but it's really up to you and your playstyle and your sensitivity and how well you can kill players because at the end of the day it's you, you're playing and it's your situation that you're in that you're going to have to you know win gunfights against you. I'm, say, I'm not saying you're going to win all the gunfights as I've said, that's up to player skill, but I'm giving you easier options in order to successfully flank around or whatever you call it, rush around and get the kills without any problems. Now, the reason why, I don't understand why people go up here. I mean, really, why why do people sit here and play the game? What's the, what's the point? What are you going to gain out of this? Finally, defending B if you're a sniper, fair enough, but... If you're an LMG, see I do, I see a lot of dudes with LMG target finders standing up here, symmetrical to the other side and A side as well. And they're just sitting there trying, just waiting like, there's no point because there's so many ways you can cap B, right? Let me show you. There's so many ways you can cap B without getting caught. So imagine I'm, I start at C and I'm coming up here. You can literally cap B like here. You can literally stand here and not be seen. Nobody else can see you from the A side. You can still cap B like here or sometimes people tend to uh, cap B right here in the corner here which is which is kind of risky because you got you're really really open to this this side and this side which I would not recommend but I would definitely recommend this or I'll definitely recommend this way where you're only secure to this side to check players coming through so definitely it's really important the way you position yourself to capture flags this is talking specifically about domination but when it comes to kill confirm Choosing these routes, obviously, you can change them up a bit. So, for example, I'm starting here and I'm walking along. Kill confirm. Usually, don't people don't come up through the middle, but you can still just pop your head out, see who's there, kill them, and then I slide back in and run this way for kill confirmed. I always go this way, and there's gonna be dude up there, and there's gonna be dudes coming from this side. So you gotta be careful. So what I immediately do is I run quickly, I jump, go prone, and then I dip my head out and just go spray here, run this side. There's a dude up there. Go inside. And go through the back. So imagine this kill confirmed the team death alpha. match. And I go up here and take dudes out here and take dudes out there. And it's basically symmetrical to the other side as well. If I start at A, I'm going towards the C. So just think about that. Plaza is a really great map. For domination, kill confirmed, and team death match, whatever. It's a really good map. Uh, only thing that sucks about it is that if you're going to use air support like warship or lodestone, it does suck because there's a lot of buildings uh, between the B section where you can hide and it's uh, yeah it's not really that efficient. But uh, I tend to use swarm Securing dogs alpha. and B sat orbital for Securing this map, a. as you may have seen the beast mode gameplay. So anyway, hope you hope this helps you guys out. If it did, as always, leave a rating and I'll be doing this for every other map uh, on this game. Hopefully this will help you out in some way or another. If not, I do apologize. I'm trying my best, but this is me talking from experience yet again. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon with another map. I'll be doing Yemen next. So if you've missed out my uh, video about raid, or how you can rush on that, just check it out. There should be a link to that uh, at the end of this video. So hope you guys uh, have seen enough from this map. 
of what you can successfully do whilst rushing in Black Ops 2. So I'll see you guys soon. Check it out. Sign out! Good night, peace. Yeah! Moving, moving. Okay, anyway, let's stop right there. Let's explain this bit. So once you're moving, you should be the first one ahead of any all of your teammates. That should be it. I know that some dudes might go to the left, you know, around the other side through B. Let them go, all right? Let them go. Let them do their thing. But if you're going through the middle first, I want to talk a bit about the middle. So you're going up the stairs. You're first one ahead of your teammates. What, what 